Hi, welcome to another video. So, recently Mitral launched the Minestrel model, and before that, they launched the Pixtral and Mistral small models. But with that model, Mitral actually launched a free tier of the API, which I glanced over in the Mistral small video I did. But recently, I was checking that API, and what I found is just amazing. I think I'll be ditching Gemini Flash for this. Let me explain it to you first. So, Mitral had posted a blog post when they launched the Mistral Small and Pixtral models. And that blog post had a part saying, the serverless platform to tune and build with Mistral models as API endpoints now offers a free tier enabling developers to get started with experimentation, evaluation, and prototyping at no cost. Which means that they have basically added a free tier to their API. I didn't go into depth at that time because I couldn't find proper documentation for it. Or you could say that I didn't believe what I was seeing at that time and just thought that the limit it was showing me was only applicable if I had a paid plan. But boy, I was wrong. So... Mitral has two different sets of APIs. There's one set of APIs that is just for the Codestral model, and there's one set of APIs that gives you access to almost all the Mistral models. Now, the Codestral API is fully free. Yes, like it's fully free. You can use it almost as much as you want because it doesn't have any kind of rate limits. And I tried using it, and I didn't get any errors. Some forums did say that it has 30 requests per minute and 2,000 requests per day, but I wasn't able to even hit that limit. And even if it has that limit, then it is better than Gemini Flash. And since Codestral is focused on coding, it works almost like Gemini Flash, and in most cases, it is better. In Ader benchmarks, they both perform similarly. So, there's no performance left on the table. But it's not just limited to that either. Because it also has another API that gives you access to almost all of their models, including Mistral Large, which performs significantly better than Gemini Flash for sure. And not just that, because you get one request per second, which is completely usable, and you get about one billion tokens per month for free. So, this is also a great option for sure. Codestral could be good if you just want very reliable stuff because it doesn't have a token limit, while the Mistral Large API could be used when you need to get better results than Codestral. Although I think at least I can get away with the Mistral Large API because the token limit is so high that I probably won't reach that limit anyway. So, that's good. But there's one downside to this. The downside is that they will use the data sent by you to train their models. Although they say that they will anonymize the data and then use it, so that's good. But Gemini also says the same. So, this is not an issue for me, but it may be for you. So, make sure you keep it in mind. Now, we'll be configuring it with both Ader and Klein. I wasn't able to configure it with Klein easily, but... I have a workaround for it, and it works fine. So, we can use it with both. You can also use it with any application you have that supports the OpenAI-compatible API because it uses the OpenAI API schema. It worked fine with Ader, but had some issues with Klein, which I was able to fix. So, let's get started with Ader first, and then we'll go through the Klein setup because that's complex. Anyway, first of all, just go to the Mistral API platform and get signed up. Once that's done, you'll be asked to select a plan. Just select the experiment option and it will get started and you'll see these options. Now, just go to the API keys option here and create an API key here. This API key will be used when you use any Mistral model like Mistral Large, Pixtral, or anything. Once you have that, just keep it in a safe place, because we'll need it later. 
Apart from this, we'll also need the Codestral API key because I'll also be telling you how you can use it as well. So, just go over here and get an API key from here as well, and keep it in a safe place too. Now, first of all, because we'll be using it with Ader, just go to the terminal and make sure that you install and upgrade it as well. To do either of them, just run the pip install upgrade Ader chat command, and it will get updated if you already have it, or if you don't have it, then it will get installed. Now, to use it with the general Mistral models, you'll need to first add your Mistral API key to the environment by using this command and writing the API key here. Once that's done, we can start using it. To use it, you'll just need to start Ader with Mistral as the provider and the model name you want to use. You can refer to the model names from the Mistral API site. Generally, you'd like to use the best model, which is the Mistral large model. So, let's just run it with that. Once you do that, it will get started, and you can ask it to do anything. Let's ask it to make a simple ping pong game. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. If we run it, then you can see that it works fine. So, this is just amazing. Apart from this, if you want to use it with Codestral, just add the environment variable for Codestral API key and enter the respective API key. Once done, just run it with Codestral model like this. Now you can ask it to do anything. Let's ask it to make a simple to-do app using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it. It's doing that now. And if we wait a bit... You'll see that it's now done. So, this is pretty good. If we run it, you can see that this works pretty well. So, this is also pretty good. Now, Ader is configured, and it works pretty well. But we also need to configure Klein and get it working as well. So, first of all, download or update the Klein extension. Now, technically, you can just go to the Klein settings and select the OpenAI compatible option, configure the Mistral API base URL, and use that. But it doesn't work for some reason. I think this is because the object that Mitral API returns has some more stuff than the general OpenAI API, and that's what makes the issue. But I found a workaround. So, to use Klein with Mistral or Codestral API, we'll need to use LightALM. It's like a proxy server that changes non-OpenAI compatible APIs to OpenAI compatible ones. So, to do that, just install it with the pip install lita lm command. Once you do that, it will get installed. After that, just export your Mistral API key as well, like you do for Ader. Now, we'll need to run the lita lm server with a model. So, you can run it quite easily with this command. It's similar to the Ader command because it also uses lita lm in the back end. So, it's similar. Anyway, just start the Light LLM with the model you want to use. Once it has started, you'll see the port that it has started on. Generally, it would be on port 4000. Now, once that's done, you can just go to Klein, and in the OpenAI compatible option, just add the base URL of the Light LLM server, and in the API key, enter anything, and in the model name, just enter the model name. Once done, save it. Now, we can start using it. I'll ask it to make a simple Minesweeper game. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit.
and it's now done. So, this worked pretty well. If we preview it, then you can see that this works kind of great as well. So, that's super cool. Furthermore, if you want to use it with Code Astral, then just export the Code Astral API key and run the Light ALLM server. Once you do that, it will also start working with Code Astral. So, that's super cool as well. I think this Mitral configuration is something really good. I might just be replacing Gemini with Mitral. Because if we see the Ader benchmarks, then you can see that Code Astral is basically similar to Gemini Flash. And in my usage, it has been better in most cases as well. Apart from this, Mistral Large is even better than those, and really usable. So, I can just keep switching based on what I'm doing, and everything. One thing that it lacks is the vision capability. Although you can change the model to Pixtral and use it for vision stuff, it doesn't work well in coding. So, I'll recommend using the Gemini models if you wish to use images in your prompts as well. Plus, Gemini is also faster. So, that's one thing to consider as well. I mean, it's always good to have more options than fewer. I'll be using it a lot going forward. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.